song like this basically you know sharing our feelings about Catholic girls and only the guys in the band really know the truth the truth is way way back when in the 1970s when I grew up in Penn Hills every summer there was this big event called the St. Bart's Fair anybody ever hear of the St. Bart's Fair raise your hand that's right. Now for most people, the St. Bart's Fair was a happy time. It was filled with games, and it was filled with rides and a lot of smiling people. But for me, it was nothing but pain and agony, and torture, and heartache. Because every time I'd walk up to one of them Catholic girls and try to have a conversation, they'd spit in my face. This led to years of psychological therapy, a few stints at Western Psych, and $225,000 of treatment. And then one day my therapist said to me a few years ago, he said, John, he said, you're gonna have to get this anger out of your system. I mean, it's been almost 35 years. None of these girls even are around anymore. You're doing okay. You got a rock and roll band. You walk into a fine establishment like Needs Hotel and people treat you like a king. You gotta let go of this resentment, this ugliness that's scarring your soul. And I said to my therapist, how can I do that? And then suddenly a light bulb went off in my brain. I'll sing about it. That's it. I'll get back at them Catholic girls. I'll get back at them. I'll write a song to tell the whole world what they're really all about. I said she smiled at me and said I like your style. She was a little bit head tear me in my mouth. You know, I said that girl's on fire, but man, I got a flat tire. I ran and hit behind the rector. She hit it hard, she said that the bit. I did a candle and I prayed to St. Marie. Hey, Lord, hey, Lord, please help me now. I'm so confused. How do those Catholic girls know what to do? Well, yeah. Shot a walk a little closer to me. I started 
shake it like a leaf of a tree. I squeezed tight and I prayed that. 